Welcome to my designer class. My name is Mercy and I sell Stampin' Up! products. In today's class, I would like to show how I made this beautiful card using the So Hoppy Together set. It is the celebration set that you can earn for free for, with, if you order $50 or more. So I mainly use the stitch framelits, but I will list in the link below um, every all the products that I did use for this. So I won't be showing any um, of the big shot work. So I already have all the pieces cut out and also the embossing done. So I will start off by showing you the stamping for the frogs. Okay. So here is my stamparatus. And as you can see, I, I'm sorry about the glare here. I have the little stitch shapes. Oh, I have two here. <laughs> Only need one. And I was having problems with this one shifting. So I added a little bit of tape. So you could use also like washi tape. This is just like a medical tape. Anyhow, um, I will now get my shaded spruce. For this one, I decided to just do the shaded spruce. I followed the color colors that the Tropical Escape Designer Series paper has. And in the inside, I actually do have a little bit of it. So I I'll show that at the end. So we just want to stamp just like that. And we do want to give it a little time to dry before using the blends. I always um, like doing that. <laughs> but I will go ahead and stamp the little um, flies, or I don't know what they are. So I'm just going to leave it in the Stamparatus. Even though I'm not going to be using the Stamparatus, it will just hold it still. So there they are. You can just. They're so cute, those little bugs. <laughs> this whole set is just adorable. I really enjoy it. If you have not gotten it, definitely you should. Be, well, um, it's still available. Sadly, we only have about one more month left of celebration, so you don't want to miss out on that. All right, so um, I'm, while well, I have the big shot out, and not the big shot, <laughs> the Stamparatus, it's getting late at night. So I do apologize. I'm kind of like getting a little tired. So if I make any mistakes, that's the reason. All right, so we're going to be doing a little bit of masking. So I'm going to be doing this sideways only because I mounted it. So it's sideways and I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. So I like masking with just regular scotch tape. So I'm just going to cut off a piece so big and cover it. And I also want that comma covered. So another little piece and we will have that covered. So here we have it, this. Now I just re-inked my Blushing Bride and it is actually a little juicy. So I hope it behaves. But if you are ever having problems with the distinctive stamps being too juicy, the stamp pads for it and it not coming out clearly just rub it down with like a old gift card and it will um, push some of the ink in so i will hopefully it'll it looks like it's going to ink pretty well i can usually tell before i even stamp if it's going to go on right oh <laughs> but it would help if i have the paper in wouldn't it huh that is a bit of a problem all right sorry about that <laughs> You think of everything you think and then when it comes right down to it so if i have to restamp it does help to go ahead and have a little tape there so it doesn't pop up uh, i kind of feel like this is a little shifted oh I'll, I'll get this all right so just stamp and it is a little bit light so um I'm not sure if this is going to go too well because <laughs> this tape kind of caused a little problems. All right, but we will get this back in place. And if it is a problem, I do have some spares. But um, the, usually it's very easy to um, double stamp when you're using the Stamparatus, but I'm having a few technical problems here. All right, so I forgot the comma here. So I will end up not using this one, but 
You can see it's really pretty though with the um, distinctive. This whole stamp set is just really gorgeous. So um, if you do not have the Life is Grand, you should definitely consider that one. So I will just set this aside for now and we will do some coloring with our Stampin' Blends. Not, they're not called Stampin' Blends, they're just blends, I think. <laughs> but I want to add Stampin' to everything, I think. So, okay, so I have a little bit of piece of paper to protect my surface. And then we will, I will bring these back in. I did go ahead color one here because it, you, I, you don't need to see everything that I'm coloring because I'm going to kind of use the same color scheme on both. I really wanted to have continuity with this whole card. So I tend to re tended to repeat a lot of things that are pretty much the same. So this is um, the dark sea foam and I just used a little bit of the light um, flirty flamingo for the mouth. It's definitely not the same as Blushing Bride, but I don't think anyone's going to notice <laughs> since we do not have a blend for the Blushing Bride. I'm just improvising a little bit. <laughs> okay, so that is easy. This is going to be the dark. Sometimes I go dark and then light, and sometimes I go um, with the light first. It just depends on my mood. So this time I'm going to go dark and I'm just going to follow a few lines and add a few like low lights kind of, if you will. I think that looks pretty good. I'll do something around his nose to accentuate that. And I just saw that I missed one of these circles. So I'll just hit this real quick with the soft sea foam. And now I will bring in my light Granny Apple Green to finish off this froggy. This is definitely a very cute set. I think it would be cute for kids and people, older people that are kids at heart, anyone really. I like frogs. I don't, one time we even had a tiny miniature pet frog that we got at Hallmark of all places. And I think that frog lasted about a month <laughs> before it gave up. It was teeny tiny. It was really cute though. It was adorable. My daughter was excited. That was probably when she would have been like 10 maybe. And she took good care of her little frog. Unfortunately, they don't last forever, frogs as pets, which isn't all bad from a parent's standpoint. But they were very cute. Okay, so we're almost done with this froggy. And then I'd like to kind of add a little shadow below him so he's not floating. So I will bring in my light smoky slate and just add a little bit. So again, he doesn't look like he's floating in air. So I'm just gonna kind of connect the legs. That's pretty much all. Sometimes I like using the fine tip end and sometimes I use the brush. It just depends. Usually for bigger areas I use the brush, but the fine tip is a little easier to control. So it's definitely worth experimenting. So here I'm going to just add a little kind of shadow to around his body just to add a little more interest. He is very cute. Sorry, I get very quiet when I'm coloring. It's part of the territory. All right, so there we have our frog. And here I have the other frog that I've already colored. So now we can start assembling our card. I have the hello here. Sorry, my first version did not quite go too well. <laughs> but i that's why I have a backup. I just... That tape thing worked well when I was looking at it straight on, but when I was trying to put it in on camera, it didn't quite go. So I don't know if that was such a hot idea. Oh well, live and learn, right? So, but masking off the 
hello the dear friend allowed me which i did like that sentiment allowed me to make this smaller and i needed the space on the card so that was primarily the reason and i was also thinking that hello just plain hello opened up more possibilities like you could say hello and then inside you could say happy birthday or you could say um thank you or pretty much whatever I kind of feel like this wants to bend this way so i'm going to go with that so some cards it's nice to have some that are more neutral in the sentiment just so that if you kind of want to change it up you can and make it whatever you want so i'll go ahead add this layer and i'm always thinking do i have a ribbon to tie around it the ribbon actually we're going to secure with a glue dot so we're good we're golden it's always a pain though if you forget to do that step and you needed to so i think this card is really cute this whole set is adorable as i was saying i'm kind of crazy about so hoppy i think it's been my favorite of the celebration ones although the home to roost one really has captured my attention as well all right so bringing in all of my elements i will now start to attach the matting to all these and i wanted all of them to be matted the same i want again i was kind of going for a uh Oh, I don't know kind of like repeating look so there we have the one now I have to get my matting out I have it in a bag here <laughs> should have gotten that out it's funny how you think you're really prepared when you're making one of these tutorials until you're actually doing it and then you realize wait I kind of forgot a lot <laughs> to do a lot of things I should have done so I appreciate your patience. This is a one take kind of deal. I try to only do one take. Sometimes I do have to start over, especially if there's a major problem. So, so far so good. There we have him all set. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of do a dry layout and we're gonna have this frog to the right and this one over here yeah that looks pretty good now i'll just try to put everything on in a reasonably straight manner that sometimes can be a problem if you have it crooked it's not good so i wanted the hello a little bit more to the left uh, let's see if i got this straight yeah i think that's pretty straight isn't that cute oh yeah, we didn't put any, I didn't put any dimensionals. And the reason why I didn't put dimensionals, which I am crazy about, is because this is an embossed paper, it actually adds a lot of dimension just because of that. So I don't find it always 100% necessary to add dimensionals when the paper is embossed. Sometimes I do anyway, though. It just depends on my mood. I... Definitely like experimenting though. So I'm just kind of trying to make this more or less straight. And this is cool. This, these little circles kind of fell just in the right place. I love it that when that sort of thing happens, you know, it's like, that's what I needed. It needs to be. So we're almost getting to the finish here, but we do, I do want to do a little stamping inside and add that DSP that I was talking about. Ooh. This is wanting to stick to my hand. Isn't that cute? So cute, if I may say so myself. Okay, so as promised, we are going to stamp inside. I'm going to get the little, this little dragonfly thingy. And I'm just going to also use the green on him and just put him up in the right corner. And then I have a little three fourths of an inch strip by four inches of DSP and I'm just going to add this to the bottom. This kind of adds just a nice little touch in. It has all those colors that I use. The Tropical Escape DSP. I thought about having DSP on the front but then it just kind of looked like too busy then. If I tried to add 
I really wanted to use this dot to dot embossing folder. So anyhow, thank you so much for watching. If you would like to order any products, please email me at mewants3 at gmail.com and I'd be happy to help you with an order. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Happy stamping.